Hi everyone, it's Madeline Lane with iClass Pro here to walk you through all things skills. Um, I want to thank you guys for joining us. Um, good afternoon for those of you in the United States. Good morning for the couple of you that I know are tuning in from Australia. Um, today we're going to walk through everything skills related. So if you um, haven't set up your skills yet and aren't using skills, we're going to walk through setting up a skill tree. We're also going to walk through taking evaluations from both the student perspective and the class's perspective. And then we're going to hit on the newest feature of iClass Pro, which is the iClass Pro Skill Activity Log. And there's a couple of really exciting things that we're going to talk about, so uh, make sure to stay tuned. So without further ado, let's jump in. So you're going to want to go to your iClass Pro homepage and then expand your user panel. From here, you're going to go to Settings and we're setting up a skill tree. So go to Setup and expand General Settings and scroll down until you find Skill Tracking. Okay, this screen brings you to where you can input skills, edit your skill tree, and select the skill rating that you're gonna to wanna to use class-wide. So first let's talk about the skill bank. This is where all of your skills are housed. You can search skills by title, or go in and search skills by specific tags. You can also go in and edit a skill and also create a new skill. So to create a new skill, you're gonna click the Create New Skill button, and then you can input a skill name, skill description, optional notes to instructors, and optional tags. You can add as many tags or as few tags as you like, and it's important to note that the skill description will be visible to your parents from the parent portal while the notes to instructors will only be available to your instructors. So let's look at Backbend. Once you've created a skill, you can go back in and edit it simply by selecting it. You can add to the description, add additional tags, and you can add media. This is something that's really neat for if you're wanting to attach photos or YouTube videos to show your instructors how the skill is done properly. You can also click here to make these visible to customers. Um, your parents will be able to see these through the parent portal and can use them as reference material when their students may be practicing at home. Um, and once you've done that, those changes are automatically updated and you should be good to go. So after you input all of your skills, you're going to want to go to your skill tree. This is where you set up the entire skill tree. Um, it's going to bring you to the top tier of your skill tree, which we call disciplines. So if you are a multi-sport facility, it's really useful to have several different disciplines. In this example, we have gymnastics, swimming, and cheerleading. Um, if you're maybe just a swim school, you might just have one discipline. You can have as few or as many as you would like. And after you've set up your disciplines, you're gonna wanna select one and define the levels that are under that discipline. So in this example, we have beginner, intermediate, and advanced. You can have as many disciplines as you like or as few disciplines. I'm sorry, you can have as many levels as you like or as few. Um, in order to add, you're simply going to select Add Level. Um, if you want to delete a specific level, you can select it and hit Delete Level. Um, after you have those set up the way you want them, you can select Beginner, and it's going to come to the events that are under that level. You can add them again by selecting Add Event or select it and come over here and hit Delete Event. If you do not wish to have an event specified, you can simply check here to not use events and go straight from your level to your skills. Um, this is really great for if you are a gymnastics school, you probably want to use levels such as bars, beams, vault, and floor. Um, and if you are something like a swim school, you may not have any levels. So you can have beginner swim and just include all of the skills that you want to list under there. So after you have set up your events the way you want them, you can go in and select the event, and you can see all of the skills associated with that event. Um, skills are not optional, like levels and events, so you're going to want to make sure and define those because that's how your coaches are going to evaluate your students. They're going to evaluate them on specific skills. So you can search any skill um, that's in your skill bank to add. So we're going to scroll down here and add a skill. Um, you can search the skill by name or by filters, um, and then you can simply go through and select a few skills and hit Add Skill, and they'll be added to your event. Um, 
And if you want to delete a skill, you can simply select it and hit remove skill. After you have gotten your entire skill tree set up the way that you want it, um, you're going to want to go in and select skill rating. This is where you set up the entire star system that is used throughout your whole gym. Um, you can use as few as one stars or as many as five stars. If in this example, we're going to use three stars and you can scroll down here and edit the name of those stars. This is really useful for your coaches who are going in and evaluating students. Um, it verbally describes to them what the stars mean. It's also great for your parents so that they can see, oh, okay, Blake today got three stars and that means that he mastered this skill. So once you're done with that, you can hit update ratings and your skill tree should be set up and ready to go. And at any point, you can always come back to these settings and edit your skill ratings, skill trees, or add additional skills to your skill bank, or even edit current skills. Now we're going to talk about taking evaluations. There's many different places that you can take evaluations from. We're going to look at students and classes today because those are the two places that you're most likely going to be taking your evaluations. So let's select the students page. And we're going to scroll down until we find the student that we're wanting to evaluate. Today we're going to look at Adam Benson and we're going to select the star icon or the evaluation icon to the left of his name. And this will bring up a screen that shows all of the skill trees associated to the classes that he is currently enrolled in. So we can see that Adam is enrolled in gymnastics and he's working on beginner. So we're going to open that and for this example we're going to say these are at unpassed. So we're going to open bars and we can see that Adam has been evaluated on back roll and back bend um, and that he's mastered the backwards walk on the beam. Um, but we're going to go in and take a new evaluation for Adam on back bend simply by selecting the stars appropriate. So we're going to say today he mastered it and we're going to say that Adam did a great job and submit that evaluation. Now I want to remind you that these comments that are made by your coaches or by you in the evaluation screen will be visible to your parents. So this is a great and easy way to quickly communicate to your parents um, and let them know how their student is doing in your gym. So let's say that Adam today worked on all of these skills listed under bars and I feel as a coach that he has really passed the event. You're going to want to toggle this past icon into the past position um, and that is going to generate a certificate and then if you want to pass a student on an entire level so let's say that um, Adam's been working on beginner gymnastics for a long time and I feel as though he's really um, accomplished all of the events then you can go ahead and pass that entire level which is going to also generate a certificate so we're going to select yes, pass all events. And that's how you evaluate a student from the students page. Let's go real quick and look how to evaluate a student from the classes page. This is a great way to evaluate um, one student on many different skills or an entire class. So you're going to find the skill for which you're wanting to evaluate. In this example, we're going to look at beginner swim. And again, select the evaluation icon to the left of the class title. And that's going to bring you to a really beautiful bird's eye view of the entire class and how everyone is doing. Um, you can quickly glance and see that Sarah B has mastered blowing bubbles. Um, and you can see, or I'm sorry, that Sarah B is the only one in this class who's not mastered blowing bubbles. Um, and it shows here that everyone has mastered holding their breath for two seconds. Um, but today Sarah really worked on blowing bubbles. So we're going to select that skill. And we can see everyone has been evaluated three stars and we want to go ahead and give Sarah Blake two stars because she worked on it but she hasn't quite mastered it. And then you can select submit that evaluation or if you simply want to say well the entire class worked on this today and I feel that they have all really mastered it. You can select the appropriate star rating at the top and it will apply that evaluation to all students. So we're going to hit submit evaluation. You can see it'll update it here so that all students have three stars. You can also select an individual student and it'll show you all of the skills in that class that they are able to be evaluated on and you can quickly and efficiently evaluate them from this screen as well. 
So that shows you how to set up a skill tree and how to take evaluations for a student. Um, if you have already done those things, you are set and ready to go and look at the new skill activity log. Um, this feature has a lot of great things to it. One of the things that we're most excited about is that it enables you to notify your parents via email and generate printable certificates. Here's an example of a beautifully designed email that is color customizable to match your brand. These are emails that your parents will receive once you've sent them from the skill activity log. And then this is an example of a printed certificate These certificates are also color customizable and include your branding. These certificates will be included in the email for past levels and events or can be downloaded and printed at your location. So let's go ahead and look at the new skill activity log. To see this screen, you're gonna to want to go to the skills icon at the top of your page. It's this star. And that will bring you to what we're calling the skills activity log. Um, this feature was just launched yesterday and we're really excited to show it to you and so I'm just going to walk you through everything that you see on the page. So here in the center you can see all of that past evaluations um, that match the filtered criteria. So the default shows you unsent evaluations. So if you've never sent any emails through iClass Pro to your parents about evaluations, um, then this should be all of your evaluations. And it also shows you all evaluations in the past 30 days. If you wanna see evaluations for a longer time period, you simply go through and select the date range. Um, you can also filter evaluations by day of the week that the class is offered or portions of the skill tree and um, specific instructors, etc. Then whenever you're ready to select evaluations to send and notify your parents, you can go through and select specific student names, or you can simply hit select all. Now you'll see three indicators at the top that reflect the selection that you have made. This says that you have eight students selected and nine and eight families will be receiving evaluations. Let's say, for example, you have a set of siblings in your classes. This may say that you have nine students selected, but only eight families. And so that lets you know really quickly how many families you're actually notifying through this feature. The second indicator is the evaluations indicator, and this shows you how many evaluations are being sent out um, and breaks it down into how many skills, levels, and events are being sent out. So we can see here that one level um, has been passed and three events have been passed. And so it's important to note that this is where the certificates are generated. There's not a certificate for every skill, um, just when a student has really worked hard and passed an entire event or an entire level. So we're gonna go ahead and send these emails. So select the Send Emails Now button and it'll ask you if you're ready to send eight emails. So we're gonna say yes and that'll generate a background task and let you know that you have just sent eight emails. So we're gonna hit great, and that will show you that your skill activity log is now empty. Um, these emails have been moved to the sent section of iClass Pro, so they can be accessed at any time in case they need to be resent. Um, you can also go to the unsent section and I'm gonna look at evaluations since the beginning of December. We see we have a few here, so I'm gonna select those. And there are two levels that have been passed and I want to download a certificate to hand to my student in the gym. So I simply hit download certificate and it generates a background task from which um, those beautifully designed certificates that are customized to match your gym can be downloaded from. So that is really it to you and we want to let you know that if you need any additional help using these features or any other feature in iClass Pro you can visit support.iclasspro.com or you can contact our awesome support team at 903-353-9329 again that's 903-353-9329